Hi, folks, and welcome to the Ask Shell Coffee Break. And as mentioned earlier, we're dealing with concrete, concrete driveways, concrete patios, paving stones, you name it, within our Coffee Break this particular episode. So concrete is something once placed, new concrete, for example, is something that you, the homeowner, has got to respect because I'll tell you, very few concrete trades contractors don't deal with some of the most important factors about concrete. Even though they do a great job of uh, placing concrete, it's the future for that surface that has to be taken into consideration. First of all, you never place new concrete over old. Get rid of it because you're only going to transfer the problem from the old right up into your new. You don't want that. The most important thing is the preparation of the substrate under the concrete. Drainage. Where is the, the surface element, the grade factor going? Where is the water running off to? Is it running off to a garden? Is it running off to a lawn area? Is it running off to a curb line? Is it going to a storm sewer? Is it got drainage? compacted properly, all that substrate underneath a concrete slab is it properly prepared before such time as the forms go in and the concrete placing takes a place from a ready mix truck or whatever the supply uh, um, area uh, happens to be. It could even be a mixed on job site. But new concrete, folks, once placed correctly by qualified people in the concrete industry with the proper uh, slump in the concrete. Uh, keep in mind, if it's cold, it has to be heated with calcium, or if it's really hot, it has to be uh, kept in such a way water-wise, and the, the cement mix with the aggregate and sand, all that has to be taken into consideration. That's all taking place at the ready-mix plant. The distance between the ready-mix plant and your job. Is your job ready? Are the forms in? Ready. Never order concrete early. All of these things are very important. The time of day, the time of day, the temperature of the day. You place it today and the sun comes out, what do you do? You place it today and the next thing you know, it's on into the evening, it's going to be a frosty cold night, what do you do? These are the questions you want to ask the contractor before you have that company do the job for you. Because that's the question that's going to mean the difference in your concrete lasting for years and years and years. So new concrete, no matter if it's a smooth finish, if it's an exposed aggregate, that's the one that shows all the little pebbles, or if it's a broom finish, that's the non-slip type of surface, or the grooved, all of those items are very important to make yourself aware of before such time as you have the finish placed on the surface of the concrete. Because those items are the ones that are part of that uh, cement that's being brought to the top and troweled and uh, given the, the texture that you want to achieve. So it's very important that the surface be taken into consideration. If you're on a sloped driveway, smooth finishes and uh, exposed aggregate, not good choices because the amount of surface element to that of a frosty, icy surface, there's not much grip on a pebbled surface like an exposed aggregate or a smooth trowel finish. So you might want to look at the broom finish or the grooved finish. You may even want to look at a heated driveway. And incidentally, a heated driveway is not the entire driveway. It's only the area that your vehicle runs on. So the tire runs or the, uh, the area that you're going to have for the, uh, the vehicle to travel up and down. Your contractor, if they are qualified, certified concrete people, they will know what it's all about heating concrete slabs for uh, de-icing or uh, snow control, okay? Snow melt, it's called. So once that's all taken care of and all placed and all uh, uh, taken into consideration as far as location, etc., now what do you do with the concrete? A lot of cases, it's just left like that. It's never looked at as a maintenance item. 
and it should be. It should be sealed. It should be sealed. You want the concrete in place for at least 30 days before you consider sealing it. And you want a penetrating sealer. You want a, a like an aqua seal, something that penetrates into the concrete, sealing not only the porosity, but sealing that, uh, uh, that, that, that concrete, cement, sand, aggregate, uh, all those different ingredients of concrete. And so many times I'll have a contractor or a homeowner talk about a cement driveway. It's a concrete driveway. Concrete is made of different components, one of them being cement. Okay, so terminologies mean a lot. And being able to talk and walk the same language is something that today you'll find that your concrete people will be well aware of. But seal the concrete, okay? You want that uh, uh, that whole surface to resist oil, resist water, resist frosting, resist spalling. Spalling is when the surface of the concrete starts to break up. All of those items are all comprised of good overall quality concrete placing and maintenance control. It's just that easy, folks.